Number three is just a standard of living upgrade. If you guys are working on Fusion in a fully tricked out computer with all of the bells and whistles and you're still noticing it's a little bit laggy sometimes, well then this setting is going to be saving you a ton of headaches. A little background on Fusion. This is a program that is literally designed to work on almost any computer. So if your work gave you a laptop or it's something that you didn't spec out, it's going to be working almost identically as if you were working on a fully tricked out computer that you completely designed from scratch. And you won't really notice too much of a difference performance wise. For most projects, both of these computers are going to be working just fine. But as soon as you're working on really, really large assemblies with hundreds or thousands of components, that's where you're going to be hitting the ceiling on Fusion. And it's probably a better idea to go into much more aggressive and complex programs like SolidWorks or Inventor. And for a long time, if you did want to increase the performance of Fusion on your computer, you had to read through about 10 separate Autodesk articles. But now that's all compressed into a single button. Currently on my screen, I've got my largest assembly file that consists of about a thousand components. And as you can probably immediately recognize, this is R2-D2's leg. And you'll notice when I'm orbiting around, it's incredibly slow and incredibly laggy. And as you'd imagine, this is going to be making for a pretty awful experience. But check this out. I'm going to go into my navigation bar at the bottom of my screen, click on display settings, go to graphics preset and change it over to performance. And this simplifies the graphics just a little bit, but it means orbiting is now completely instant and completely snappy. Now you can go into your preferences and refine this even further by going into the graphics section and checking or unchecking any of these sections. But what I found is that most of them really don't do too much when you're working with larger assemblies. So keeping it on the performance, skipping quality, and to be honest, skipping custom is going to give you a perfectly fine experience.